Hey guys, a uh, wonderful uh, afternoon for everybody and welcome back again. So today I'm going to show you, I was thinking to make uh, sprouts because uh, as we all know, we use a uh, germination process to make sprouts and uh, sprouts are much healthier and they also helps to absorb more nutrients in our body, right? So we, everybody knows that. So, and uh, I think if we go outside and bought these sprouts uh, in a the market, they cost us like a bomb, right? So why not to make these sprouts at home? It seems very complicated process, time consuming, but it's kind of fun and uh, very easy way to make. So yesterday I was thinking, uh, let's make sprouts and these sprouts we can eat uh, maybe with a salad we can make a really nice salad by adding some uh, vegetables and uh, even um, we can eat them they're very tasty so i'm going to show you what is the process to make uh, sprouts so please guys have a look here uh, i have made uh, two kind of uh, sprouts uh, first is a uh, green gram uh, pulse we call that uh, uh harimog also like well in hindi if i'll say and then it's a uh, brown or uh, chickpea okay so well uh, i would say if it's a uh, uh, if we have to make sprouts we need to fill till that level with water and then kind of uh, but i'm not feeling right now because i'm just showing the process i have already uh, made sprouts i'm gonna show you and uh, this process is gonna take uh mainly when we're gonna soak these uh you know for five to seven hours and we need really damp and airy environment for that i think my uh which i have tested also because i did yesterday and it kind of experiment first time i made sprouts i he, i heard about it because they're very tasty but I, I was thinking let's make today why not and then i just uh, soaked for them for a um, whole day and i just uh, left these on my kitchen cabinet because it's kind of warm and airy place and uh, then what i did uh, then uh, after seven to eight hours i have just rinsed out all the water because because there was not so much of water even and after that i just took a um, uh, box and then i put in a box and just closed that lid and the box i'm gonna show you and uh, what i did i just leave this on my kitchen cabinet this is the box basically i have used these boxes for and the second box is here right we can see but we can also use these special instruments also come for these kind of boxes to make sprouts but i don't have right now this and there's a traditional way also uh, moms and grandmothers they were using at home when they used to make sprouts right we can just tie these uh, uh, which we soaked in water right these pulses in a um, warm like in kind of cloth right cotton clothes and then we can uh, kind of tight knot and we can put this in a jar and just wait for a whole night and in the morning sprouts are ready you can do you can start doing that process one day before if you have to use that maybe like you know after one day uh, for um, salads or something so now i'm going to show you how these sprouts came out so first i'm going to show you about green uh, gram please see this is the box and uh, i have uh, made so green gram sprouts came out very nice you can see this one's a green gram green gram and then a brown chickpea can you see how these sprouts nicely came out and if you want to buy these in the markets gonna cost so much and so it's very economical way to make sprouts at home and as we already mentioned we already know rich in fiber rich in proteins pulses are rich in proteins these days we are mainly focusing on plant-based diet i think that's a really wonderful idea to go with that so let's try how they you know mm, they're kind of soft and very tasty also but i'm gonna think what i'm gonna do with these um, sprouts tomorrow maybe i'll come with new recipe maybe something kind of a salad or something i'm gonna show you these videos also and that's hey they looks amazing they looks wonderful can you see these yeah so thank you so much again uh to listen to my video guys have a wonderful evening love you bye bye thanks again